Laura Schaut. I am part of the team that's going back to Riga, Latvia this summer for a volleyball camp. We partnered with our friends at Matthew's Church last year to do the camp and it was a lot of fun. This year we're looking forward to building relationships and renewing the old friendships that we have and we're really excited. Hi, my name is Dot Solder. I'm from Riga Metro Church. Last year we had a great camp. After the camp, some of the children they went to the Sunday school. Some of the children uh, from church they, they started to practice in volleyball. So I believe that this year the camp will be even better as you see. We are ready, so see you here. of the team that is going back to Riga um, and Matthews Church. We're partnering with, with Matthews Church for a, a volleyball camp again this year. Um, last year we had 52 campers. Um, we maxed out the facility that we had and so we're excited to be going back and um, out of those 52 campers we all got a lot of uh, Facebook friend requests so we have been able to maintain relationships so, and so we're really looking forward to going back and renewing those, uh, those relationships with both the coaches uh, and the campers. So we learned a lot from our first year at volleyball camp and one of the things that uh, we felt we wanted to improve on was the lunch time. Um, at lunch uh, we, we planned for about a half an hour of um, test, giving our testimonies and uh, things like that. And when we arrived we, we found out on the first day that um, we actually have a two hour lunch break. And so <laughs> And so we can, we can utilize that time a little bit better. And so we've expanded our team this year and we have invited um, uh, Marcy Bacho to also join us. Um, so she'll not only be helping on the court with her awesome volleyball skills, but uh, she's also gonna be um, working with uh, somebody from Matthews Church to help us uh, do a better job of programming during that, uh, that two hour lunch. We think it's a real opportunity to uh, minister to the kids and do some teaching and things. So we're excited about that. We also are bringing along um, Eric Simmons, um, although we are not gonna be allowing him to have anything to do with volleyball camp and we're gonna let him tell you what he's up to. Yeah, you know, as I told the uh, earlier two services, it's good that I'm not um, playing volleyball. Uh, you don't want to see that. It's kind of ugly. So um, that's for the best. Uh, the reason I am tagging along, um, so Matthew's Church, our, our sister church in Riga, this October uh, they celebrate uh, their 150th anniversary. They've been serving the Lord continually for 150 years. And um, that includes through Nazi occupation during World War II and then immediately after that, uh, Soviet occupation. They were part of the Soviet Union until they dissolved in the, in the 90s. So um, this fall marks 150 years. Now, that said, the, uh, our Latvia Link team, we've spent many months talking about, okay, well, how can, we, how can we honor and bless Matthew's Church and help them celebrate? We talked about a number of ideas, and what we decided to do was to um, create, design and create a, a historical timeline that um, we can present to the church. So I'll be going over there in June with the volleyball team, working with a key leadership to uh, gather photographs, historical narrative, uh, maybe some interviews, and then certainly doing a bit of a site survey at the church itself to figure out where this timeline will go. And I'm gonna gather all this information, come back, and I'll spend the following weeks, maybe a couple of months, designing this timeline. With the plan being that we'll have a second delegation that will go over in October and be able to present that to uh, Matthew's Church as part of their celebration. Yeah, so 150 years is a long time to be shining your light and um, it was through a lot of very dark times over in Europe, uh, especially Eastern Europe. And uh, very, a very small piece of that 150 years uh, has Latvia actually experienced freedom. And we hope and pray that freedom will be there from now forward. Um, but hist history will tell us otherwise, and it's, it's likely that they will at some point in their history again be um, under occupation. And so we really feel like this is an important time to be feeding into um, Latvia and Matthew's Church and 
um, really reinforcing those relationships and working with Matthews Church on their outreach programs and things like that. So we're really excited about um, volleyball camp this year. So what can you do? Well, we really covet your prayers. Um, we could use prayer for the final preparation as we get ready to leave. Um, we have people on this team that are currently in uh, Texas, in uh, the Philippines, um, and then here, and then also over in Riga, and we're trying to coordinate everything together. So your prayers for that, and also for preparation for the kids' hearts as they, um, as they prepare and they start to register and sign up for camp, so, uh, and for the coaches and the relationships that we have with them so that um, we really would appreciate your prayers. Um, you can also support the volleyball team, the volleyball camp. Um, next week, we will be having the Over and Above offering here at Suburban, and that offering will go totally to support the volleyball camp. So thank you very much for your prayer and your support. Thanks.